We're going to tip things off with the baseline, Ian. So we'll get into specifics throughout the show. But with the draft over and free agency coming to a close, how do you feel about the Knicks franchise right now? Well, it's clear that they chose continuity and stability over making a big splash this offseason. And we'll see how that impacts the win-loss record. I know that they're enthused about it. They see Evan Fournier as a pretty good upgrade there at the shooting guard position. They love the Kemba Walker move. And so you're looking at the guys to replace there. Reggie Bullock with Fournier, Alfred Payton with Kemba Walker. You would think that you're going to get more scoring with those guys, on paper at least. But I wonder what they miss on defense, particularly with a Reggie Bullock who, you know, they talked all, all year long about how key he was uh, on the defensive end for Tom Thibodeau's club. It's going to be interesting to see how it shakes out, but they certainly chose to mostly keep the band back together uh, after a strong 2020-21 season. Yeah, possibly preparing for a big year in 2022. And Bobby, the big move the Knicks made was picking up Kimba Walker after he received a contract buyout from the Thunder, of course, considering his injury history, uh, but also considering, you know, the type of player he is when healthy. How do you feel about this acquisition for the New York Knicks? I felt there was no risk, no risk at all, just based on now, if you're telling me you're going to acquire Kemba in a trade and he had $73 million left on his contract, then I'd say, yeah, there's probably a risk. But to have him come in at a, a nine to $10 million contract, which is basically the mid-level exception, um, and you already have, you know, Derek Rose and Emmanuel quickly there as your, you know, as your guards, you can kind of, you can play him 50 games during the year and monitor his minutes here. And um, I mean, it was two years ago that he was an all-star. Um, and I think he can still play at a high level, but as you said, it, it all comes down to, um, it all comes down to, in, you know, how he is health wise here. So for a player at that level for nine to $10 million, I didn't think, even if it never works out, um, just because there was really nothing else out there, cap space, you know, free agent wise, um, I thought it was a great move. Yeah, I, I thought it was, you know, a smart move, a, a decision, you know, that can have a lot of payoff. And if it doesn't work, as you said, you know, you're not looking, you're not slapping yourself in the face for that type of decision. Uh, CP, when you look at Kimba Walker coming, back, coming to the Knicks, coming back to his hometown, uh, how optimistic are you that Kimba can be a major contributor this year and help the team in the playoffs? If he's healthy, I'm, I'm very optimistic. Uh, as Bobby said, it's a low risk move. He's going to come in and open up the offense. They have another shot creator. Automatically, he becomes the best uh, starting point guard that both Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson will be playing with, RJ Barrett as well. So that core will get an upgrade with Kemba Walker. Uh, we know that Kemba Walker and Evan Fournier had great chemistry together during Fournier's 16 games with Boston. Uh, he finished the season well last year. The last 10 games, he averaged about 23 points per game on about 38% shooting from three on 33 minutes per game. I think that the, the hedge against the injury is that we have depth now. So Derek Rose can come in. He can give you about 20, his typical 20, 25 minutes off the bench. You have quickly who can give you some ball handling responsibility, Alec Burks as well. And as we're seeing in summer league, Miles McBride, if he can continue to play good defense and, and stay poised as he's been in these two games, I, I think he'll press for playing time on the days where they may, you know, in, institute some load management for Kemba Walker and uh, and Derrick Rose. So I'm confident that Kemba can make an impact on this team. Yeah, a lot of Knicks fans are hoping for that to see him flourish.